I wasn't planning on doing any more vlogs this month. After the uh, drift day with the BMW, I've done nothing with any of the cars. Well, we tried to fix the Audi, the power steering pump. Uh, ended up buying the wrong part for it, so the Audi steering pump still knackered, but whatever. I'm done with cars this month. Um, so there's gonna be there's gonna be no videos. But uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I think it was this week, went onto Facebook and saw that Circuit Days had put out their dates for a Nürburgring track day in April. And they were doing a discounted rate if you booked before, I think it's 1st of January. So the discounted rate's still up now, so it's 399. And then Bridge to Gantry did another discount code. So the full Nürburgring track day was 379 quid. And I just couldn't help myself. So long story short, uh, we're going back to the Nürburgring on the 10th of April. So we better start doing some work on the DC2. Now I brought the car down to Josh's unit he shares with his dad because he was going to help me do all the aero and stuff like that. And long story short, with, with, with moving up to Harrogate and stuff like that, I've just not been asked and nothing's happened. But now I need to actually do some stuff. So it looks like the car's going to stay here for a little while yet. Uh, we'll try and do as much as we can. I'm recording this in 60 frames as well. So 60 frames per second, hopefully the video's a bit smoother, maybe. Audi's still the same. I've not washed it for about two months or something now. It's looking good, right? Uh, the E36, uh, we're meant to be doing a drift day at Santa Pod in January. I've not booked it yet, still need to book it, but we'll be doing that with uh, with Adam from 621. We're going to take his E36 down and have a skid. So the E36 needs some tyres before that, but that's not a hard thing to do. So the past two weeks, I've not been doing anything with cars really. I started my new job, that's all going well. Just been not doing a lot else really, but all right, now we need to crack on. So we've got an Nürburgring track day booked. The car's in here now. I've feel like making a start on it, but Josh is in there and he's case swapping his daily, so we'll probably just help him today and make a list for what we need to do on the Integra. Um, I could just go as it is now, I know that, but there's a few things that I want to address for you. There's a few issues that we need to address before we do actually get the car sorted and get over there. You know, we've got things like we've got new doors to fit, we've got, we need all new brake lines, fuel lines. Uh, we need to get the front bumper sorted out, it's got cracks in it and stuff, we need to do the aero. Probably going to get a spoiler as well, uh, probably change the rear spoiler to a bigger one to match the front aero. I'm not doing any kind of research into the aero, I know that's bad and you shouldn't just fit things and see what happens, but that's all I've ever done, fit things and see what happens. That's what Josh did with his aero and it worked really well. So we're going to, you know, we're not going to just make it up as we go along, we're going to look at what other people are doing and, you know, replicate that. Hopefully it all works out quite well. So yeah, we've got... Brake lines, fuel lines, bumper to fix. We just sort the wheel situation out. Uh, we need some new brake pads, probably discs. Uh, we need a new seat, because I've robbed the pole positions for uh, the E36, and the spare Recaro from the E36 is now used as a, a gaming seat in our front room. Uh, I might show you that sometime if you want. I've been playing a lot of uh, project cars. That's fucking, that's what I've been doing for the past two weeks, really, is playing project cars. Such a good game. Uh, right. What do? We, what else do? I, I'll, we'll go and have a look at the car. And I'll show you when I get there. I'll be able to tell you what I need. Fucking <laughs> can't get this up. So Josh is swapping his D14 EJ, and he's putting this engine in it, hoping to have the engine sat in by today. You've got. About three hours to do that. He's struggling a bit at the minute. So Josh is taking his engine out of the uh, black hatch for some reason. Why have you done that again? Uh, to change the oil pump. Oh yeah, he's fitting a he's fitting a uh, a new oil pump on it, so he's trying to take the engine out to do that.
probably one of the biggest jobs that we need to do is get the gearbox off. That needs to go for a rebuild. I've said before, the, the fourth gear is a bit shit at engaging at IRPM, uh, which is pretty dangerous on circuit, so we need to get that sorted out. We've got four months, no, five months, four and a half months. Four and a half months? Ideally, I want this to be done in a couple of months so we can take on a UK track day before we go to the ring and give it a good test. All right, just a quick shout out uh, before we get started on anything. Uh, this t-shirt's from a company called Petrol Threads. And I like it because it says Prime Era. People who know me personally know that I'm a bit of a Prime Era fanboy. Prime Era. Did you get it? Prime Era. It's good. Clever, right? I think it's pretty cool anyway. Petrol Threads. Cool shop. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Bit warmer now. We'll go see if we can help Josh do anything. So the, the hubs are off. I uh, just need to do the wiring now, and then we can probably drop the engine out. But you need to change the subframe on these as well when you fit in the case swap. So we're going to fit a subframe from an EG, which is down here. So subframe from an EG, any EG. Any EG. Josh is just uh, removing his alarm. The car had a real shit cheap alarm on it when he bought it. Yes. Piece of shit. So that's off. There, we took the heater pipes off, uh, the wiring's off. Just gonna take the throttle cable off now. Uh, I think we're pretty much there. All the vacuum lines are off. Hoist ready. Should come off soon. Right, we've got all the engine mounts off. Now we should be able to drop the engine out once the subframe's completely loose, so Josh is going to undo the last few bolts. We should be able to get the engine out. Right, the engine's on the floor, on the subframe. Now we need to jack the car up and hopefully slide the engine out. Shouldn't be too hard, in theory. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll lift that, maybe off the trolley or something. Go to heaven. Yeah. Alright, that's the old engine out. New engine's over here. Right, so this is an EP3 engine. Um, completely go. stock, block, and everything. Uh, Josh has rebuilt most of it. Yeah, pretty much. Put it together. Yeah, well, I think not, been not not with new parts, but it's all been out in a million bits and back together. Uh, gearbox is a standard EP3 gearbox with an LSD. Uh, also got power steering on here, which we never normally do power steering when we do case swaps. But Josh wants to be posh because it's going to be his daily, so he's having power steering. One of Josh's famous air filters. Right, we're calling it a night now. Josh's got the engine out. He's not going to get the new one in yet today. So he's going to take his time and prep all his engine bay and get it looking all nice and stuff. Uh, so I'm going home. We've not done anything with the DC2. Couldn't really be bothered, but we will come back and do some. Josh is going to help me now that I've helped him. Got dirty hands to confirm it. Um, yeah, we'll probably do some more stuff on this after Christmas. It's Christmas next week, and then I've got New Year's and stuff. So back in the new year. I'll start buying some parts for the Integra, and then we'll, we'll do some work on it next month in January. 
for the next thing we're going to be doing now is getting the 36 sorted with some new tyres. Um, we really need to get the tracking done as well. And probably get some new front tyres for it, I think. But we'll sort it all out.